All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys why you need to retreat on steps, right? And really any map for that matter, um, when you lose an entire side of the map, right? Because it's going to pay off in this one. We're able to bring the game back and we're going to be in the T21, by the way, for this one. And I was trying to three mark this thing, man. I got up to like 87% or something like that and just quit because the games I, were getting, I was getting into, I just had to keep doing so much damage. Like I just couldn't get the markup anymore, man. I just couldn't get good spotting games. So I'm going to knock a bunch of trees here from the start i was going to try and maybe make an active run but the t21 just doesn't have a lot of mobility the type 64 ended up coming this way so i'm like all right let me just kind of support this guy i don't really like going to the mid vks trying to shoot a blind shot at me here no surprise um it's actually a very good blind shot because i think it was the first one he shot was a hit but it is what it is, man. We're just going to sit and try and, you know, take some blind shots ourselves at the VK. There's also some trees knocked back down there. So I'm going to maybe see if I can hit someone doing that as well. And eventually we're going to lose this side of the map. So I'm going to show you guys that. Again, we're like three minutes into the game already. We're fast forwarding quite a bit. I like to try and help here if I can. So I'm actually going to come up, knock these trees, see if maybe I can help the Type 64 and stuff. And it's just, these guys eventually push in here. We're able to clean up the Super Chaffee at least. And now we're in a situation where these guys are yoling in. I'm going to start running away. The Type 58, um, I kind of wish this guy would have just like went out a little bit so he can at least take one shot as I'm retreating there. But it is what it is, man. At that point, if I were him, I would have yoled the STRV because the STRV would have been on reload. But the VK obviously has a regular, he doesn't have a, a magazine. So... That guy was just in trouble and there was nothing I could do at that point. I wanted to run away because I wanted to stay alive, right? And again, there's been people that say like, why do you run away? Like, Worlds, why do you always run away? You could have stayed to fight. And this is, you're about to see why, okay? You're going to see why right now in this game, like a perfect example of why you need to just run away. Even if you're leaving someone for dead, you need to run away, man. You need to stay alive because you're the one that has the view range. You're the one that has the concealment and you're the one that's going to matter at the end of the game, right? So stay alive. Look, we're able to spot the VK from freaking all the way back here. So we're able to counter this guy and we get some spotting. We get some damage into this guy, right? I'm about to go out there, but I'm thinking, all right, I think this is actually a bad idea. I changed my mind because at this point we have everyone in the back of the map, right? So I'm gonna knock this tree in a very specific way. You see how I knock this tree? So I get concealment going this direction. And now a Crusader's going to push in here. He's full HP. And we're able to, um, we're getting blind fired, but we're able to counter this guy as well. I put two into him, I kill him there. And now the VK's poking again. I'm gonna get one more into this guy. Two into this guy, kill him, and now it's the STRV. The STRV is next, which this guy actually watches my videos. He reached out to me, so shout out to this guy, by the way. So STRV is going to push in here. KV2 is also pushing in. I don't quite have shots over there. We're going to leave that up to the Pollock. Artie's trying to blind fire me here. Could have had that shot into the KV2. The Pollock ends up cleaning him up. STRV pokes here. Get one into him, two into him, three into him. And this is the one shot that I take. It leaves me at one HP, but at this point, I'm like, I think I need to risk it and just go for it. I'm not sure of the DPS, the damage per shot on the STRV, but I took the chance there and he hits me for 162. And um, I think that even might've been a high roll because he hit me for 117 here, 157 here and 162. I wanna say maybe it's like 140 or 150. I don't know, you guys can let me know. I don't know this vehicle too well. He hits me for 162, I'm left with one HP and um, now we just have to try and fight off the KV-1S. I'm able to get one shot into him, possibly even two shots into him. We'll see here. He goes after the Pollock. Pollock's able to clean him up there. And now we can go for the Arties. And this is why, guys, right? I lost like three quarters of my HP running away, but I ran away. I stayed alive. We ended up getting four kills here. We're at 1275 damage, 472 assists. And now we, we're in a situation to carry this game. Right? It's two Arties. It's me and a Pollock versus two Arties. This shouldn't be very difficult. The Pollock ends up encountering one, I think it's the Hummel he encounters, over on the western portion of this map. He cleans the Hummel up, and now I'm looking for the M44. I can cap, but I'd rather not cap in this situation. I'd rather, because I have the Pollock, I said, Pollock, cap. We still have four minutes. I tell him to cap, and I'm going to go after the M44, because I kind of want to know where this guy is. And the issue with me getting on cap is I am now a one-shot. Not even, like, I'm a splash, right? I'm a, I'm, I have one HP. All this guy has to do is breathe on me, let alone, you know, shoot an arty shell while I'm trying to sit on the cap and splash me, and I'm dead anyway. So I'd rather go look for this guy. 
And I even told the Pollock, like, I'll be right there. If I can't find this guy within the next, like, minute, I'm just going to run back to the cap and get on. But I'd rather go and hunt for this guy for the reason I just explained. And I'm able to spot him here. This is the most active arty player I've ever seen in my life. This guy's probably a really, really good player. He's anonymized, and he's just playing arty for, like, missions, maybe. I don't know, man. But this guy was a really active, like, really good arty player. And I come all the way around here. I'm going to outspot him right here. And I'm going to come all the way to this corner, try and get shots into this guy. He goes behind this rock. And I'm like, dude, what is this? Like, what is this, man? Like, I've never seen an arty player be this active in my life. So I'm going to come around here, try and stay, like, down low a little bit. He ends up spotting me anyway. And now we're in a situation where this guy can easily shotgun me. But the Pollock's going to cap out in two seconds anyway. So I just go after this guy. He ends up shotgunning me here. I get two into him. He shotguns me for one damage, but that's the game, man. Like, the Pollock capped out, so we win anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'd rather just go for the damage and try and clean this guy up. Um, I might have been able to, like, I don't know, run down and try and run around this guy, but Artie is, it's, it's really challenging to face Artie when you have one HP, guys, or if you're a one-shot to them. Like, you're, you're a splash to them. It's very tricky and challenging, man. And even then, I've gone after Artie and been, like, one-shotted before, man. And people keep telling me, you know, Artie's balanced. I'm like, I still disagree, man, that they can, like, pen people, even people that have, like, some armor. Like, I see these tier 10 Arties dropping shells on the top of tanks still for, like, a thousand damage. And I'm just like, dude, you know, like... Uh, I understand that it's very inaccurate, but think about what you're doing. You're sitting in the back of the map doing nothing. Like, all you have to do is move to not get counter-batteried, really? That's it? Like, there's no risk. That's that's the thing for me, man, is what I tell you guys. It's like, I don't, I don't hate arty players. I just don't like how you can shoot someone from the back of the map like an FE4005 and pen them for like a thousand damage sometimes and get lucky and... There's no risk, right? At least with the 4,005, there's a, there's a risk. You have no concealment and you have to drive like up to a, a bush line or something like that and get a shot off. And as soon as you fire, it's very likely you're going to get spotted even from like halfway across the map because you have no concealment at all. But with Artie, you can sit all the way in a corner and do the same thing. And that's why I just don't like it, man. And I've played a lot of Artie, guys. I really, I, I, I used to play a crap ton of Artie and I still think it's a an important part of the game uh, that's the only thing i don't like about it though is like the high penetration values that you can still get when there's no risk to taking the shot right so this guy ends up cleaning me up i mean one hp like, i'm not going to complain about that dude like even if i was a couple hundred hp if this guy killed me it is what it is but it's the it's the shots from like the leafs and stuff like that at lower tiers where you have like 500 hp in your light tank and you get hit for like 400 and lit on fire it's like dude really like, I'm even behind a rock or something, and this guy's, like, dropping a shell up over the rock, like, because it's high arc, and lighting me on fire, and, and, and one-shotting me. It's just like, dude, like, this is so dumb, man. Like, <laughs> that's why I bought the leaf, right? So if you can't beat him, join him, guys. Anyway, that's the game on steps. I think you can see everything that happened here. We were very careful in how we retreated, and... We let the team make the mistakes, right? We let them push in. We got a bunch of shots on them. STRV left me at 1 HP. So it was kind of lucky, but again, I think he high rolled. And that's how I carried it, guys. I stayed alive. I retreated. And in case this isn't enough information for you, I showed you this in another video, but I'm going to show you again. I'm just going to show you guys this, okay? Um, advanced. So my stats, by the way. Um, it's down here, right? Yeah, right here. Overall stats by history. Look at my survived. So, and this doesn't mean, this isn't a statistic showing you um, survival rate for part of the game. This is how many, how your percentage of survival, right? For every game at the end of the game, obviously, right? Look at my survival rate. Look what I started at, like almost 25%. And now I'm holding like a 38% survival rate in most of my tanks, 38, 39%. Look at that graph and then look at the W and A graph. Look at the, the frags graph, which is kills. Look at the win rate graph. Look how they 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 correlate. Look at survived, especially the win rate. Look at look at survived. My percentage, my survival rate percentage per game. Um, and then look or overall, right? I guess you could say. So I have a 38% survival rate, and then look at my win rate. And that kind of follows it. You see that? You guys are seeing this, right? I mean they, they there's a, there's quite a heavy correlation here. So let me know how many times you guys want me to click on this and show you. Look at the correlation. So stay alive, guys. 
do what you have to do. I'm not saying you sit in the back of the map and do nothing, right? But stay alive when you think you're in a situation where you can stay alive if you run away or you can fight and die, run away in a light tank. If you're in a heavy, you can't run, fight. But in a light tank, I'm telling you guys, you need to get away so you can try and use your view range and that way your team is not blind, right? Always run away, guys, if you're in a situation that's threatening to you just run man like try your best to get damage and help people but you need to stay alive you need to stay alive like i can't emphasize this anymore right 1500 damage 658 assists this was a first class game i was top here by experience top by kills second by damage and that's how i made it work i ran away with i ran away man with my tail between my legs right i ran away guys screaming the whole way back screaming man i was screaming i was terrified guys no but run okay just run guys turn around and run away so that's all um let me actually take a one more look at this team score the avro so this was the guy that reached out to me i just wanted to give him a quick shout out so he watches my videos shout out to that guy and here you go here's the detailed report but how the heck do we win this game how do we win guys i mean you tell me did we stay and fight and die or did we run away, live to fight another day type thing? Um, let the team push in. We clean them all up and then we carried the game. That's how we won. So conserve your HP. Okay. Conserve your HP. Stay alive. Run away when it's necessary and carry the game at the end. Catch you guys for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.